Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. Um, an interesting question popped up actually several times today um, after I posted my um, video on the Dell company that wants us to absolutely move to some AI computer. And uh, the question came with the fact that, well, isn't a any computer capable of AI? And yes, absolutely. Um, any computer, because it, it's you know it's a marketing term much more than anything else, but absolutely any computer is capable of AI. AI is just algorithms of you know a computer trying to do things that we want and to uh, improve and maybe uh, even um, kind of be able to look at the things we do every day and just try to help us with it and so there there's always been some form of ai in what we do uh, because there are algorithms in there and many software uh, that are actually trying to figure out what we're doing before we actually do it to help out and um, add to it so ai isn't specifically anything that is only on new pcs with npus and that is absolutely right when people say that and so technically any pc is an ii pc uh, even more than that um, if you have a gaming laptop for example and that your laptop has a, a powerful gpu a graphics processor well, these are so powerful that they could actually be programmed to do ai um, even though, you know, they're done and they're specifically um, programmed or designed for graphics use, um, it's a little bit of an AI for graphics. A lot of the graphics that show up on a screen are actually programmed to show up as the game goes on. It's a little bit like artificial intelligence saying, okay, now we're going to need to have this type of graphic and this in the screen and this on you know that moves over here and, and so on uh, and it can technically be used as an AI chip um, so why an NPU well it's simply that like GPUs are designed for graphics well an NPU is designed for the uh, AI side of things. It's a neural processing unit. It will have been designed to cope with real world experience from artificial intelligence. So it's in effect a specific processor for a specific task. The reason they are pushing these new machines with NPUs is because if you add an NPU, to the computer so the AI doesn't use the actual hardware that's already there it doesn't need to use your CPU the processor of your computer and bog it down and make your computer slower and it doesn't need to use the GPU because if you're maybe playing a game because there will be AI games out there there will be games that will actually also require to have uh, artificial intelligence be done so, in effect, all it is is that you're, ad you're adding a third processor for a specific task for artificial intelligence, and that will make your computer and the computer much faster. So now you're going to have a specific task for AI, specific processor for graphics, and the CPU will actually be free to do the other things that are important within the PC. So... Yes, it's true. Uh, when you guys say, um, do you absolutely need a NPU for AI? No. Your computer, any computer, is capable of AI. But by adding the NPU, it will actually improve performance because it will be dedicated for that. And it will make these computers much faster in the future for dealing with all of that together. So um, the thing is, um, these companies are using it as a marketing term, AI, 
PCs are coming. Well, you know, PCs have always been AI. It's just that now they're, you know, adding a chip to it to dedicate AI to a specific uh, part of the computer. Uh, but in in fact, it's kind of a you know a mistake to have these companies say, "Well, AI PCs are coming." Well, not technically, but you know they want to sell PCs, so they want to try to invent something. And and with the MPUs now in the computers, well, they can call them AI PCs because there's a de dedicated chip for that in the computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.